Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Biblical Prepping. I'm Judith Garden, and this is the Prepper Portion. I have just a quick little video for you today to show you something that I do. I generally wear an apron when I'm cooking, but sometimes grease stains still get through onto my shirt, or I forget to, to put on the apron. And I had a friend ask me the other day, what is it I do to take care of any grease stains that are on my shirts? I actually have over here three shirts I've already done right here. I have my burgundy shirt, my um, autumn orange, as well as my gray. So what I do, and I'm hoping that you can see on the shirt, let's tell the photo in. Right here is a good spot where you can see these stains aren't really bad this time, which is really nice for me, though it should be easy to get out. However, it's not real good for showing you. Um, I've had some big grease stains that on the shirt are very, very large. Um, let me pan back out. I've had them as, as large as um, a silver dollar, <laughs> so you're talking about two, three inches across on a shirt and this is the method I use is so simple now what I have here is an old spice jar I made sure that I chose one with a sprinkle top I just took some cheap you know the 50 cents a box or 60 cents a box baking soda from Dollar Tree from Dollar General Kroger's all these just the cheap kind and I keep this container in the laundry room cabinet with my laundry soap because those are the two things that you're going to need your standard laundry soap and just some kind of a container of baking soda oh I also forgot an old toothbrush so what you do is you just take the baking soda you sprinkle it on the grease stain as simple as that you do want it on a flat surface it makes it easier and you brush it in to the stain just like so. You want to make sure to brush it in good into the fabric. What do you do if the fabric is a delicate fabric? Turn it inside out. It is better, it works much better if you do it with the shirt right side out. But if it's a delicate fabric and you're worried about damage to the fabric, you can turn it inside out. You just might need to do this treatment a couple of times and then I rub it in moving up because I have a whole trickle down of stain here do the same thing scrub it into the fabric I rub it on top like this and then I let it sit just like this you just let it sit like this for about eight hours and that's it come back in eight hours and see what we do next now my pink shirt hasn't been sitting as long as my gray one so I'm just going to show you really quick on the gray one when the baking soda soaks into the stain you can generally see where it has been on the fabric and this one I actually started with just a tiny little spot of oil from frying and it's actually this larger spot that has gotten into the fabric next what I'm going to do is take my standard laundry soap we use all free and clear and I just drizzle it onto that a little bit scrub it in to the fabric as well and then you just wash as normal I'll do the same thing with each of these shirts as time is up for their spots to be soaking and then I will wash them and show you how they turned out well the laundry's finished and all of the shirts are clean except for this pink one it's got a little bit of a spot still right here it's light enough I'll probably just wear it around the house one day and then what I'll do is I will take and I will retreat 
that spot before I wash it the next time. But if you can look, all of the other spots are gone. Nothing else. Now for this one in particular, what I will probably do is I will take the baking soda, treat this side and the other side because it may have actually pulled through the fabric onto the other side as well. And there you go. Simple, easy to do, just baking soda. And like I said, it's the really cheap variety. I just buy boxes of that and keep it in the cupboard for when I have grease stains. I hope this helps and might give you a way to solve that problem and save your shirts or your husband's. Because sometimes when my husband cooks, he splatters grease on his clothes too. And he does not wear an apron. So I will, I often treat his as well. I hope this helps. Blessings and Shalom.